हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर डी एस राठौर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जुआलॉजी राजर्षि शाहू महाविद्यालय ऑटोनोमस लातूर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कार्बोहाइड्रेट क्लासिफिकेशन एंड इट्स सिग्निफिकेंस द आउटकम ऑफ दिस वीडियोस द स्टूडेंट विल एनुमरेट डेफिनेशंस different classes and significance of carbohydrates so let us discuss about the introductions of carbohydrates you know the carbohydrate is nothing but the natural occurring organic compound which contain carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and sulfur actually the carbohydrate is synthesized by unique process and that what we call the photosynthesis during photosynthesis what happens the carbohydrate is synthesized from inorganic substances like h2o carbon dioxide in the presence of the light and the chlorophyll pigments carbohydrate is otherwise called hydrate of carbons why why it is called hydrate of carbons because it contain the hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio of 2 is to 1 so that's why it is called as hydrate of carbons <coughs> it is uh, defined as the polyhydroxy aldehyde and ketones so why it is called as the polyhydroxy aldehyde and ketone because it contain many aldehyde group many uh, aldehyde and ketones because it contain many uh, hydroxyl groups and uh, carbonyl group like ketone and the aldehydes so that's why it is called as the polyhydroxy aldehyde and ketones where it is found it is found in the various cereals uh, the tuber like the potatoes sweet potatoes and etc so so this is all about what just the introductions of the carbohydrates just uh, about the classifications you know the carbohydrate uh, carbohydrate is classified into sugar and uh, non sugars so what do you know about sugar sugar is a sweetened taste crystalline in form and soluble in water so that's why it is called as the sugars uh, it is furtherly classified into the two classes and that classes are called as the monosaccharides and oligosaccharides so what is monosaccharides the monosaccharide itself indicates its meaning it means what the single sugar unit containing carbohydrate is called as the monosaccharides it is sweetened test crystalline in form and the soluble in water uh, that what we call the sugars this is a simple sugars why it is called simple sugar because it is furtherly hydrolyzed uh, it is not a furtherly hydrolyzed that's why it is called as the simple sugars what is the general formula of a monosaccharide uh, ch2o bracket into n so n indicates the number of carbons number of hydrogen and number of oxygen and that gives the uh, a various type of empirical formula of the carbohydrates it is classified based on the presence of the presence of different type of carbonyl group and number of carbon atoms so based on the the uh, number presence of carbonyl group the monosaccharide is furtherly classified into the two classes and such a classes are called as aldoses and ketoses so what do you know about aldoses so aldoses the term aldoses itself indicates its meaning it indicates the the carbohydrate which contain the aldehyde group so that's why it is called as the aldoses the aldoses containing carbohydrate is simply called the aldoses you know the aldoses is a uh, one of the monosaccharides it contain the aldehyde groups and uh, it is a three carbon compound it contained uh, three carbons two hydroxyl group and a uh, uh, carbonyl group like aldehyde it contain three uh, what i want to say here there are different type of aldoses as you, uh, uh, we are known the what i want to say here the glyceraldehydes and then uh, glucose these are what these are the examples of aldoses why why the uh, glucose glyceraldehydes are the examples of aldoses 
because it contained the aldehyde group so that's why they are called as aldoses uh, you know uh, ribose is also one of the aldoses examples of aldoses so why because which contained the uh, what i want to say here the aldehyde group that is cho uh, hence we can see here the glyceraldehyde uh, glucose and um, yeah, erythrulose are the what the examples of aldoses so next class of monosaccharide based on carbonyl group that what we call the ketoses so ketoses itself indicates its meaning it means what the uh, ketone group containing monosaccharides or carbohydrate that what we call the ketoses it contain uh, the uh, three carbons to a hydroxyl group and one carbonyl group that what we call the ketone c double bond o uh, is uh, found in the ketoses so that's why it is called as the ketoses so there are different type of examples of the uh, ketoses and such examples are called as dihydroxyacetone fructose uh, deoxyribose are what the examples of ketoses so why there is presence of the carbonyl group like c double bond o oh, so that's why it is called as the uh, so what i want to say here the ketoses <clears throat> then monosaccharides uh, based on number of carbon atoms the based on number of carbon atoms the monosaccharide is further classified into the different classes and such classes are called as the triases tetroses pentoses hexoses hept heptoses octoses nanoses decoses and so on so there are uh, about the 10 different classes uh, of monosaccharides based on the number of carbon atom so let us discuss about the one class and that what we call the trioses so what do you know about trioses trioses itself indicates its meanings the trioses the three carbon containing carbohydrates so why it is called trioses because it contain the three carbon that's why it is called as the trioses it contain three carbons two hydroxyl group and one of the carbonyl group it may be the ketone group or it may be the aldehyde group so there are uh, 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 examples of the tri trioses dihydroxyacetone and the uh, glyceraldehydes are the best examples of the what i want to say here the triases so what is the empirical formula of triases the c3 h6o3 so this is uh, what i want to say here the uh, examples of uh, trioses trio uh, sorry empirical formula of these uh, triases then tetroses so what is tetroses tetros uh, the term tetroses itself indicates its meanings that is uh, it can uh, four carbon containing monosaccharide molecule is called as the tetroses it contain four carbons three hydroxyl group and one of the carbonyl group one of the carbonyl group it may be the aldehyde or ketones and its empirical formula is c4h10o4 uh, and their example is erythrose and erythrulose are the what i want to say here the trioses then next to these the pentoses the pentoses means five carbon containing monosaccharides or carbohydrate is called as the tetroses it contain five carbons four hydroxyl group and carbonyl group like either aldehyde and ketones and its simplical formula is c5s10 o5 there are uh, some examples of pentoses like a ribose the and ribulose the ribose contain the aldehyde group whereas ribulose contain the ketone group c double bond o so that's why there are the, uh, these are the examples of pentoses then hexoses the six carbon containing carbohydrate is called as the tetroses it contain six carbon five hydroxyl group and uh, one of the carbonyl group that is aldehyde and ketones and its empirical formula is c6s12 o6 and their example is glucose and fructose heptoses uh, it is a seven carbon containing uh, monosaccharides it contain the seven carbon six hydroxyl group and one of the carbonyl group either ketone and aldehyde group and empirical formula is uh, c7 uh, h14 and o7 and their example is uh, glucoheptose and uh, pseudoheptulose so this is all about what 
the one of the class of the carboxyl and that what we call the monosaccharides and they are classified based on the presence and absence of carbonyl group and the number of carbon atoms as we have discussed earlier then next to this the oligosaccharides so oligosaccharides itself indicates its meaning the oligo means what few and saccharides means what the sugar the few sugar you need contain in carbohydrate is simply called the oligosaccharide and it contain uh, the 2 to 10 monosaccharide molecules <coughs> and uh, it can be furtherly hydrolyzed uh, into the different monosaccharides or it may be same or different monosaccharide units uh, it is also one of the sugar it is uh, why because it is sweetened as crystalline in form and soluble in water they are furtherly uh, classified into disaccharides uh, tetrasaccharides and uh, trisaccharides and tetrasaccharides so let us discuss about uh, uh, one of the class of the oligosaccharide and that what we call the disaccharides uh, two sugar unit containing carbohydrate is called as the disaccharides disaccharides are of uh, and disaccharide contain uh, two monosaccharide molecules it may be the Uh, same or different type of monosaccharide molecules. Uh, in case of maltose, there is a same type of uh, monosaccharide molecule that uh, it means uh, uh, the glucose glucose that leads to form maltose. In case of the sucrose, there are two different uh, uh, monosaccharide molecules are there glucose and uh, fructose. In case of lactose, there are two different monosaccharide molecules that is glucose and galactose. So likewise, we can see here. the disaccharide may contain similar or the different type of the monosaccharide molecules the so how the disaccharides are formed during the formation of disaccharides two monosaccharide molecules are uh, uh, two monosaccharide molecules are linked together uh, linked link together by hydroxyl group of one monosaccharide molecule is uh, joined with the uh, H of hydroxyl group of another uh, another monosaccharide molecule uh, with the release of H2O and that leads to form a disaccharides and during this uh, there is a remaining O uh, between the two monosaccharide molecule and that leads to form a bond and that bond is called as the glycosidic bond okay and this is uh, uh, about what the disaccharides and their uh, general formula is about the CN in bracket H2O uh into n so n indicates the number of hydrogen and number of oxygens or uh, suppose the cn uh, h2o bracket uh, into n minus 1 uh, that gives the uh, what i want to say here the uh, empirical formula of the disaccharides the empirical formula of a disaccharide that what we call the c12 as 22 o11 so here the n minus it means what the uh number of oxygen get reduced and here uh, in case of the carbohydrates uh, the hydrogen and oxy uh, hydrogen is double of the what i want to say here the oxygen so that's why it gives the empirical formula that what we call the c12 as 22 o11 etc so this is uh, 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 what i want to say here the disaccharides there are different disaccharides are there so important uh, biologically important disaccharide and that what we call the maltose lactose and sugar uh, sucrose etc now uh, let us discuss about the maltose so what is maltose maltose is a disaccharide because uh, it contain the two monosaccharide molecules like the glucose glucose it is called as the malt sugars so why it is called as the malt sugar because it is uh, present in the malt and that's why it is called the malt sugars the it is usually found in case of the sprouting barley and uh, it contain the glycosidic linkage and that uh, linkage or bond is called as the 14 linkage and which is formed between the first carbon of a one uh, monosaccharide molecule and a fourth carbon of a another uh, another monosaccharide molecules uh, in the formation of maltose water molecule is released from hydroxyl group one glucose and hydrogen of the other glucose and the remaining oxygen uh, between two glucose form a bond and that bond is called as the 14 linkage so this is uh, all about uh, sucrose
sorry about maltose the next to the maltose uh, the another biologically important disaccharide that is sucrose uh, sucrose is a disaccharide it contain two monosaccharide unit uh, two uh, two monosaccharide unit or the uh, molecule simply we can say here and uh, it is consist of or the uh, sucrose is consist of glucose and uh, fructose it is also called as the common sugars or can sugar simply we can say here sucrose is actually produced in the plant from uh, from which the table sugar is defined uh, okay and its empirical formula is c12h22o11 so this is uh, uh, fructose okay and uh, next to the fructose another biologically important uh, disaccharide that is what the lactose lactose is a disaccharide because it also contain the two monosaccharide unit but it contain two different monosaccharide unit hence it is consist of glucose and galactose glucose and galactose it is commonly called as the milk sugars so why because it is found in the milk so that's why it is called as the milk sugar and its uh, empirical formula is c12h22o11 lactose is uh, composed of the molecules of galactose joined to the molecules of what i am going to say here the glucose and that leads to form beta 14 glycosidic linkage so here uh, the bond is uh, somewhat different uh, that is beta 14 linkage the beta 14 linkage is actually form between the hydroxyl group of 1d uh, glucose uh, and uh, we join uh, join with the uh, hydroxyl group which present above the ring and uh, Uh, of a fourth carbon atom and that leads to form uh, the beta 14 glycosidic linkage uh, so this is uh, disaccharide as a one of the class of oligosaccharide the next class of the oligosaccharide that what we call the trisaccharides trisaccharides the three monosaccharide unit containing carbohydrate is called as the trisaccharides uh, the trisaccharides may contain similar or different type of the uh, monosaccharide molecules three monosaccharide unit containing sugar that what we call the trisaccharides its empirical formula is c18 s20 h32 o16 and its empirical formula is cn in bracket h2o uh, n minus 2 so here the cn indicate the uh, number of carbon atoms and here the uh, 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 n indicates uh, number of hydrogen and oxygens, and here n minus two indicates the uh, number of uh, the oxygen get reduced, and that leads to produces the C eighteen S thirty two O sixteen. So this is uh, uh, what I am going to say here the trisaccharides, and there are some examples of the trisaccharides. So there are some examples uh, which include the rabinose, raffinose, raminose. Uh, and etc so let us uh, describe uh, regarding the what the one of the examples of raffinose and uh, etc uh, raffinose so here raffinose raffinose is a trisaccharides uh, it contain three different monosaccharide molecules uh, which is called as the glucose galactose and fructose all are what the three different monosaccharide molecules and actually they are found in the Uh, the what I am going to say here the visible uh, visible uh, vegetables like the cabbage, Brussels sprout, broccoli, asparagus, and etc. Uh, there is presence of such type of uh, uh, sugar that what we call the raffinose. It is somewhat complex sugars. Also, uh, and uh, uh, another class of the oligosaccharide and that what we call the tetrasaccharides. The tetrasaccharides, the four uh, monosaccharide unit containing. carbohydrate is called as the tetrasaccharides the tetrasaccharide contain the different of um, four different monosaccharide molecules and uh, their example is uh, what i want to say uh, stachyose and uh, stachyose and uh, which is consist of the glucose fructose and the two molecule of galactose so uh, this is regarding what the oligosaccharides Uh, in which the three uh, different classes and that what we call dietary and tetrasaccharides and uh, there are different examples okay so the last class of the 
carbohydrate and that what we call the polysaccharides the polysaccharides are non sugars so why they are called the non sugars because they are tasteless amorphous in form and insoluble in water so that that's uh, that, that what we call the uh, the non sugars or the polysaccharides the polysaccharide the term polysaccharide itself indicates its meanings the poly means many and saccharides means uh, uh, sugar the many sugar unit containing carbohydrate is simply called the polysaccharides the polysaccharides are tasteless amorphous and insoluble in form insoluble in water and uh, <clears throat> their their general formula is c6h10o5 bracket into n polysaccharides are a complex carbohydrate and each polysaccharides are consist of the many or numerous molecules of uh, monosaccharides numerous molecules of uh, what i want to say here the uh, uh, monosaccharides and uh, there are different uh, examples of polysaccharides like a starch uh, glycogen cellulose inulin chitin and etc polysaccharides may be form of only one type of monosaccharides unit or uh, two or more type of monosaccharide units and based on these the polysaccharides are classified into two classes and such classes are called as the heteropolysaccharides and homopolysaccharides and heteropolysaccharides uh heteropo polysaccharide polysaccharides are actually the uh, the polymers of disaccharides polymers of what uh, disaccharides and uh, monosaccharides uh, let us discuss about the homopolysaccharides what is homopolysaccharides when the polysaccharide is form of only one type of monosaccharide molecule and that what we call homopolysaccharide molecules or we can say here the single type of monosaccharide molecule containing uh, polysaccharides or carbohydrate is called as the homopolysaccharides there are different example like a starch glycogen cellulose dextrin uh, inulin chitin and etc the heteropolysaccharides so uh, what is heteropolysaccharides when a polysaccharides has a two or more type of monosaccharide molecule uh, unit and that what we call polysaccharides uh, sorry uh, heteropolysaccharides there are various examples of heteropolysaccharides namely chondroitin chondroitin sulfate hyaluronic acid heparin agar agar and etc homopolysaccharides so let us discuss about the homopolysaccharides homo means single and poly, uh, poly means many saccharides means sugar unit homo means similar type of many sugar unit containing carbohydrate is simply called homopolysaccharides or uh, homopolysaccharides and there are various type of homopolysaccharides uh, namely starch glycogen cellulose dextrin inulin chitin and etc Uh, let us discuss about one of the examples of uh, one of the examples of uh, monopolis uh, homopolysaccharide and that what we call the starch starch is a uh, homopolysaccharide so uh, why, why it is called homopolysaccharide uh, because it contained the many uh, many similar type of sugar unit so that's why it is called as the homopolysaccharide it is a reserve food of plant it means it is found in the uh, plant as an reserve food materials and is found in the cereals legumes potato uh, like a uh, sweet potato potatoes and etc and the certain vegetables uh, it is found in amorphous uh, it is a uh, white amorphous tasteless and soft substances and it is actually soluble in uh, it is insoluble in cold water alcohol and uh, different uh, what i want to say a different other solvent like ether and uh, etc but it is soluble in hot water uh, it gives a dextrin on incomplete oxidation of the starch and this dextrin is used as a uh, food materials for the infant and uh, infant and also used as a adhesive substance uh, as a adhesive simply we can say here and it is uh, made up of structurally uh, the different uh, molecules and that what we call the amylose and amylopectins amylose uh, it is a simple and branched structures uh, soluble in water and it has alpha 14 glycosidic linkage 
uh, and uh, which is easily dispersed in the water and uh, it gives the blue color with the iodines okay and uh, next to the structures of the starch and that what we call the myelopectins a myelopectins is a highly branched structures it is a part of the what i want to say the starch it is insoluble in water it has a two glycosidic bond and such a glycosidic bond is called as the alpha 14 uh, glycosidic linkage and uh, alpha 16 glycosidic linkage uh, it is not easily dispersed in the waters as dispersed the um, iodes and etc but it gives a purple color with the iodine so this is starch as a one of the reserve food of plant and the uh, next examples of homopolysaccharide that what we call the glycogens uh, it is a polysaccharide uh, consist of many sugar unit or the it contain many sugar unit and simply we can say here and uh, it is uh, otherwise called as uh, the animal starch it is a animal uh, food of, uh, it is a reserve food of animals are uh, found in the animal tissues like uh, muscles liver fungi and yeast etc it is a uh, uh, tasteless amorphous and uh, insoluble in waters uh, it gives uh, what i want to say here the brown in color with the iodines it is highly branched uh, or it is a highly poly uh, highly branched structures it is a polymer of glucose with 1 4 and uh, uh, alpha 14 and alpha 16 uh, glycosidic linkage and uh, it can say it is and it looks like a tree or hence it is called as the tree structures and uh, uh, it contained the different branches like it, uh, which found in the trees the external branches of the glycogen uh, which is consist of 6 to 7 uh, the glucose unit uh, and uh, the internal branches which contain the the glucose unit uh, and its molecular weight may, may be the 50 lakh and etc uh, it gives red color with the iodine but its uh, red color is disappear on boiling so this is uh, what i want to say here the starch and the next to this uh, cellulose the cellulose uh, is a uh, another examples of the uh, homopolysaccharides uh, it is a homopolysaccharide because it is consist of the uh, uh, single type of monosaccharide molecules it is also called as the glycans because it is only and only consist of the glucose that's why it is called as the glycans and uh, it uh, it is actually uh, found in the uh, it is a structural component of the cell wall it occur in lignin and cottons it is found uh, it is also the uh, test list amorphous in form and insoluble in waters and its molecular weight may be 2 lakh to 20 lakh and uh, it is formed by the dehydrations of uh, dehydrations uh, between the uh, what i want to say here the first carbon atom of the one monosaccharide molecules and the uh, fourth carbon atom of the another monosaccharide molecules okay uh, so this is uh, what i want to say here the uh no. cellulose and it contain the beta 14 linkage contain beta 14 uh, linkage uh, it, it does not give any color with the iodines it, it does not digested by uh, the man uh, due to the absence of uh, what i am to say here the uh, the cellulose digesting bacteria and etc so that's why it is only digesting case of uh, the uh stomach of the all the ruminant and etc it is a just the linear structures uh, which is formed by the beta 14 glycosidic linkage so another class of the what i want to say the polysaccharide and that what we call the heteropolysaccharides the hetero oh, itself indicates its meaning hetero means different polysaccharides means many sugar unit containing carbohydrates the polysaccharides uh which contain two or more uh, type of monosaccharide unit containing carbohydrate is called as the heteropolysaccharides when polysaccharide has two or more type of monosaccharide unit the polysaccharide is called as the heteropolysaccharides 
on hydrolysis yield the mixture of monosaccharide units you mixture of monosaccharide units there are various uh, various examples of nitropolysaccharides namely chondroitin chondroitin sulfate hyaluronic acids piperin agar agar etc are the examples of the heteropolysaccharides uh, there are uh, again the heteropolysaccharide is of two type uh, are which is classified into two classes two group and that groups are called as the neutral sugars and mucopolysaccharides so what is neutral, neutral sugars neutral sugar sugar which gives more than one type of sugar unit on hydrolysis or sometimes it contain non sugar component that what we call the neutral sugars neutral there are uh, some examples of the neutral sugar like a heavy cellulose some gums mucilage pectin substances are the neutral sugars and then mucopolysaccharides there are two heteropolysaccharides neutral sugar and mucopolysaccharides the mucopolysaccharides itself indicates its meanings muco uh, muco means mucus and polysaccharides means many sugar unit containing carbohydrates the carbohydrate which gives the mucus like consistency or the slime consistency such a substances is called as the uh, is called as uh, mucopolysaccharides uh, it is a heteropolysaccharides so why because it contain or on hydrolysis yield the many type of sugar unit that's why it is called as the heteropolysaccharides and uh, these mucopolysaccharide is consist of the mixture of sugars and derivatives of sugar such as amino sugar uro uronic acid and etc it is highly hydrated gel like uh, sticky material bearing a distinctive negative charge it means the some carbohydrate bear the uh, negative charges and they have the high molecular weight maybe up to 5 million and etc and they are found in extracellular materials and they are act as a biological substance biological cement and etc or it may be a uh, structural or supportive unit of uh, supportive materials of the connective tissues and etc and this uh, they act as a cementing materials uh, they cement uh, the adjacent cell during the formation of tissue and etc and they are not found in the free state but they are uh, remain attached to the protein molecule and that leads to form a hetero molecule hetero macro molecule and that what we call the peptidoglycans and etc mucopolysaccharides are acidic in nature as it contain the different uh, uronic acid uh, different acid and that what we call uronic acid sulfuric acids uh, hence they are called as the uh, what i am going to say here the acidic uh, heteropolysaccharides and etc and they are made up of disaccharide unit in which an uronic acid is bound by glycosidic bond to the c3 c3 uh, of an acetylated amino sugar and uh, alpha 13 linkage and etc these disaccharide residues are polymerized uh, by alpha 14 uh, linkage to give a linear macro molecules the common examples of mucopolysaccharides are the hyaluronic acids chondroitin sulfate chondroitin heparin agar agar and etc so let us discuss about the one examples of the heteropolysaccharides the that what we call the hyaluronic acids hyaluronic acid is a mucopolysaccharides hyaluronic acid is a heteropolysaccharides because it gives a mucus like consistency so that's why the uh, hyaluronic acid is a mucopolysaccharides and actually it is consist of the disaccharides of glucuronic acids and n acetyl glucosamines Uh, it is uh, actually found in case of the skin uh, vitreous body of eye coating around the ovum and etc during fertilization what happens the uh, sp uh, sperm is uh, trying to uh, enter into the uh, ovum that time the uh, whatever the uh, hyaluronic acid is present around the ovum which is broken by the enzyme which present in the head of the sperm Uh, that what we call the hyaluronidase that hyaluronidase is uh, uh, break uh, the hyaluronic acid which present around the uh, the ovum and uh, take entry into the uh, ovum during the fertilizations 
it act as a biological lubricant and cement for the connective tissues it is a polymer of the polymer of uh, disaccharides disaccharides are actually linked to the linked to other uh, beta, uh, beta 1 for linkage and disaccharides are formed by linking of one sugar with the other by beta 1 for uh, linkage and that leads to polymerize and form a complex hetero mucopolysaccharide and that what we call the hyaluronic acid and it also found in the sperm bacteria uh, uh, sperm bacteria etc okay so this is uh, all about all about uh, what i want to say here the carbohydrate classification uh,